In this video, I would like to talk about the hip rotation, closing and opening the groin um, that I've been talking about over the step-by-step the -step videos. Um, it, it happens on the song exercise and the basics and also in the step-by-step uh, -step movement teaching videos. Um, after I'm reviewing those videos, I realized that I've been wearing black and that black didn't really uh, show the details in the video, so I'm making one just to uh, to show you the lower legs and how this hip rotation actually works. Um, I put uh, masking tape on my pants, so I put a T uh, just below my knees on the lower leg, so that you'll see the horizontal line, the vertical line, and also on the groins I put a um, a V shape here. So it actually shows that it will shows my my hip rotation. Okay. So later on, I'll be uh, in this video. I'll be focusing on my legs. So pay attention. Okay. Here is just for the uh, the legs. Okay. When we stand, when we do this song exercise, you see that my lower leg. They don't move sideways, okay? But I'm opening and closing this V shape, the groin, okay? If I turn on my right side, this close and this open. Okay, my right side closed, my left side open, but my knee's not turning, okay? And if I turn my to the left side, see that now this opens and this closing, okay? So. And you see that my my T initially not no I'm not going like this. Okay, the start the beginning you probably you do like this. Okay, uh, which is you are twisting your ankle and moving by your feet, which is not right. Of course, it's incorrect. And closing and opening on this side. So the the idea is you're closing on the side that you're turning to, okay? If you turn to the right, you close on the right side, okay? If you turn on the left side, you close on the left side. I'm standing, okay? You see that? Okay. Sitting, the same. It's even more obvious. So I'm sitting and I'm turning. You see that my knees will probably it will go forward and backward, okay? Because my my hip, my upper leg is actually doing a forward and backward motion, but not sideways, okay? So you see a slight movement forward and backward of the knees, so that's okay. And I'm not I'm not done, I'm not doing this, okay? I'm not doing this. This is this is wrong. Sit and go. So this, See that my, my T is more the, the vertical line, the horizontal line stays in this, this this area. I'm not bending, okay. And the groin is V shape. So this actually uh, more, you see that if I extend in this line, it goes to my knees and go to my ankle. And if it goes up, it goes through my chest in, in it is near the shoulder joints, shoulder point, okay, the point of rotation. So this is the more likely the, the core of my body, this width. So I try to maintain this core and not shifting out and losing balance, okay? So in Tai Chi to, to hold or to maintain your balance of motion, try to make this cylinder, okay? If you rotate, it becomes a cylinder. Um, more in the center, okay, focus in the center. So even if you, I'm, I'm rotating, see I'm closing this, opening, closing and open. I'm still sitting, I'm closing and opening. This, uh, maintain this area. I'm not, see if I, I start bending my knee, my lines goes sideways and it kind of like exceeding my center. So I start losing balance, okay? 
likewise. So in the, during this practice, you have to um, find a way to maintain this um, center. I try to do it slow. You you also see that I'm not um, my eyes, I'm just relaxing my arms. So it swing, my arm swings as my hip rotates. So if I my hip goes faster, my hands goes, my arms goes faster, and if my hips go slower, my arms go slower. And also, it's not uh, swinging as high as as more momentum. So okay. So if I rotate my hip faster, then of course the swing is the angular velocity is faster so therefore more momentum and my my arms goes higher if i go slower my hips go slower then the angular velocity becomes less and therefore momentum is less and therefore my arm swings lower and even though a slightly slight rotation you see that opening and closing of the of this groin area but I'm not moving this sideways, okay? My knees, my lower legs more like I'm maintaining the same shape, okay? And your kneecap is act actually attached on the, 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 the bone of the upper leg. So the kneecap is about your upper leg, right? And the lower leg is ben uh, beneath the knee. So as long as the lower legs maintain then we we call the root of your body R O T R O O T the root of your body um, is nailing to the ground and holds your body. Okay. So, so you are swinging the sideways. Okay. Standing, sitting. So even though it's when I do lunging, this is closed. This is open. I can still do the same. But it's less obvious because the, the pants. See, it's open and closing. And that my lower leg is not moved, moving, right? It's not moving. And likewise on the other leg. See, it's now this close, open, and close, and open where my lower leg is not shifting, okay? And this, on the other wise, we do the same. When this open, this actually closed, but uh, it is not more obvious because you're in a lunging position that uh, your body shape actually in a, uh, this is more like a sitting, this is more standing, all right? And the angle in a, in a diagonal. But you do the same, you know, you, you, you're, you're closing this groin and opening this one. And vice versa, if you go um, that way, say I'm lunging on my left leg and I want to turn more on, on my left, they actually have to close more and it actually has to, uh, on the left hand side, and my right groin has to open more. How much you can open and close depending on your flexibility. While you are not losing the, the straightness in the, di uh, in the diagonal, Okay, you are not compens. You should not compensate to uh, your leg or your your lower back or your spine to make to to get more turn. Okay, your your range of motion or how much you can turn or rotate on each side depending on your flexibility. So there's no uh, less muscle or less tendons to pull it to you know, to hold it. It's not. It's like braking. You know, in, in driving a car. You, you don't have too much brake. Okay? Of course, we use the brake on purpose, the, but um, having the brake too tight you know, is kind of wearing, wearing your brake pad a lot, uh, faster and you are um, um, wasting fuel, uh, you are um, wasting the power and all that. Okay? I hope this uh, video shows, you know, on my camera only has a small screen, I have to really check it when I go back to the computer. And uh, yeah, okay, it's about closing and opening the groin and turning the hip. Okay, it's about so if this leg, this leg, 
the solid leg, especially the lower leg, stay more stable, then your upper body will more likely to be stable and taking strong. And you know how when closing and opening the, the groin, actually minimize the, the, sh the shift shifting of your, your leg because if you're more flexible on the groin, then it's less possibility to push it by your by your body, okay? You're not pushing your leg. Okay. See how if I turn then make, making the rotation then it's still solid, right? So yes, this is a uh, about the leg. Uh, you can do it as the, the same at home. Okay, you take yourself here, the groin, right? If you don't know where your groin is, then um, double check it when you have a bath, have a shower, see your next to yourself and you probably know, okay? And also the lower leg, underneath the kneecap. Okay. It actually helps to uh, identify whether you are turning your hip correct or not when you are doing exercise. Okay, this is, these are the indicators. See, I can even do this, I can do it slowly. Standing, sitting. Okay. 